first thing we're going to do is open the lid. You'll find a scoop and a tray. And then inside the ice maker, you'll find a spot where you'll put the water. So we have a water pitcher here of purified water. So you can use tap water, purified water. We prefer the purified water, just makes cleaner ice. So we're gonna pour it up into the ice maker to the max fill line. Just like that. We're gonna stick the basket in and we are going to hit the power button. It's gonna light up blue and it's gonna do this little thing to show it's making ice. And then we're gonna let it run. So now you can see that the ice maker is making ice. It's made a few little cubes so far. Uh, it's taken about 10 minutes to start making ice when you first turn it on. So as you can see, it's making ice. It comes out right here through this little uh, like spout there and then ends up in the tray. And once this tray is full, you can use a little scooper and scoop up your ice. The other thing I really like about this ice maker is it's pretty low profile. It is heavy and decently sized, but does fit under the top cabinets in the kitchen if you have standard height cabinets. Also, the thing to note about this ice maker is on the sides there is the air circulation and heat exchanger. So you can't cover the sides. You do need space on either side of the ice maker to be able to have the right circulation. So that is something important to keep in mind. So now we have some ice ready. So we're gonna pop the lid open. We have these adorable little cubes of ice that we can pull into our glass. And they're just such cute little cubes of ice that they just go really well with drinks, sodas, things like that. Um, so I really like that they're these small little chunks. You can get this in different configurations of sizes of ice, but I really like the small stuff.